If time is the only thing holding you back from playing Monopoly, then check out Monopoly Speed, a Monopoly game that only takes 10 minutes to play. Hi, I'm Laurie from TTPM, here with yet another new version of Monopoly from Hasbro. You might actually like this one. But if you want to see more Monopoly game reviews, click subscribe below. Instead of taking turns, all players are rolling and buying at once. And what also helps the game go faster is that there's no banker. Each player just gets 5,000 in Monopoly money and the rest of the money gets placed in the center of the game board. These are only $1,000 bills, so you won't be searching for different denominations. To make things even easier, all of the title deed cards get placed next to their matching board spaces, which all cost 1,000 Monopoly dollars. You're pretty much not going to have to do math until the end of the game. On the board, there are two go spaces, earning you 1,000 in Monopoly money each time you pass one. If you land on go to jail, you do zoom over to the jail spot, but you get to keep rolling because jail is unlocked. You don't have to do anything special to get out. The game also includes a timer that divides the game into four rounds. Red lights on the front will light up to help you keep track of how many rounds you play. Each round has two stages, buying and trading. Symbols on the timer will light up so you know which stage you're in, and you'll hear a horn sound whenever a stage is ending. Before you press the timer to start playing, each player will need one of the four game tokens, which are plastic and come in different colors. Blue boat, red car, green dog, and yellow cat. Take the die that matches your token's color. Each player also gets four chance cards kept in a face-down pile in front of them. The rest of the chance cards go back in the box. Community chest cards also get dealt, three to each player. You want to look at these so you know which properties to collect for end-of-game bonuses. For instance, if you have the complete pink property set at the end of the game, you add 3,000 Monopoly dollars to your total cash. The rest of these cards go back in the box too. When you're ready to begin, players place their tokens on either of the two ghost bases. Then hit the timer for a three second countdown and then a zoom sound effect that starts the buying stage of the game. In the buying stage, players roll their die, move their tokens, and follow the rules of whatever space they landed on. For instance, if you land on an unowned property, you can buy it. If you land on a property that someone else owns, keep rolling, there's no rent in this game. The buying stage gets shorter as the game continues, starting with 30 seconds in the first round and going down to 10 seconds in the fourth round. When the horn sounds, the stage is over and the trading bell signifies that you're entering the trading stage of the round. In this stage, everybody flips over their top chance card and does what it says, either immediately or save for later. The card might say to take any one unowned property whenever you're ready to, or to immediately choose one property owned by another player to be returned to the board. Once you use the card, discard it. All players may also buy, sell, or trade properties, flip over chance cards, or community chest cards. Um, I'm going to steal this property from you, uh, just cause. And when the horn sounds, the stage is over. This stage gets longer as the game continues, starting at 40 seconds in round one and extending to 70 seconds in the last round. At the end of the fourth trading stage, you'll hear a horn and then applause. That means the game is over. Players count up their cash, including any bills they have left, the amount shown on their title deeds, and any community chest bonuses. The player with the most money wins. Monopoly Speed is for two to four players, ages eight and up. It comes with all the game pieces, but you will need three AAA batteries for the timer. I am really loving this game's faster pace, and I think it'll be appealing to casual Monopoly gamers too. There's no time to be bored in this version, and no one has to be the dreaded banker. Even if you've played Monopoly before, you'll still need to familiarize yourself with the rules of this version because it does play rather differently, and I think that's a good thing. Not only is it a brand new way to play a classic game, giving it a nice refresh, it's also faster, both in the pace of the game and the amount of time you'll need to play it. What do you guys think? Is this the Monopoly game you've been waiting for? Let me know in the comments. To recap the pros, faster pace, takes 10 minutes to play, and nice refresh of a classic game. If I had to make a con, I'd say that batteries aren't included, but I still give this game four stars. For where to buy and current prices, visit TTPM and subscribe to our YouTube channels for more reviews every day.